All right, here we are, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, the Best Western Plus, one block away from the original Benjamin's Calabash Seafood Buffet, all you can eat. They got everything, over 170 items on the menu. And we are down here to kill that buffet, but we're also down here to show you a little bit of every single thing on that buffet and truly review that food. We're going to show you the setup, what it looks like, everything else. A little cloudy, a little cold, but we're going to make the best of it. Stay with us. We are in the lobby of the Best Western. Looking forward to this breakfast in the morning. We got everything. They got everything. We're here to smash. We're here to smash. Let's go get checked in. Home sweet home. All right, so it's time for us to get settled in, get our head right, get more importantly, get our stomachs right because we got some food to eat. We're here in just a minute, we're gonna take you out back, show you the patio overlooking the water. It's a beautiful thing. I haven't seen it in person yet, but stay with me. Maybe a little nap first. Maybe, just, just. All right, so cut the nap a little short. Get back here and check out the waterway. Man, is it beautiful. Just a short distance from the motel. Here we are, overlooking the waterway from a nice balcony. Water as far as the eye can see on both sides. Beautiful. A little cloudy, but beautiful. Now let's go eat. The original, the famous, the one and only, regardless of what you heard, Benjamin's Calabash Seafood Buffet. Now let's get it in. Madison. My name is Danilo. We're the best host. Right, nice to meet you. Nice, nice to, meet to meet you. So I'll remind you where a few things are. Your hush puppy's gonna give you. Mm -hmm. Oh, you wanna hold up? Uh, yeah. You can hold your hand. <laughs> All right. Okay, so by that back green wall is the calabash, which is the lightly battered and deep fried food. And then under this red tin roof is the pasta soup, crab legs, and meat carving station. And then under this red and white awning is all the desserts. All right. And you get the gingerbread houses, they look. Yeah. Puppies. Gotta go for the butter. Gotta go for the butter. Mm. Not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Maddie's already gave us the tour. Got our table in the back corner, private. And here we go. Our waitress is here. As you can imagine, there's way more food here than I could ever explain to you in detail. So I can't tell you every single individual item that is on this buffet, but as you can see, over 170 items, everything from calabash to broil to uh, beef to seafood to barbecue to salads, pasta bar, uh, amazing dessert menu, everything you can think of from spicy to neutral and back again, crab legs, prime rib, two of the stars of the buffet, along with every kind of sauce and soup and bread and Pretty much everything your heart desires or your brain can think up, they have here at the original Benjamins in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. If you get a chance to come down here, I promise you, you will find something on this menu that you like. And if you don't, well, then you're absolutely impossible to please. Also, the decor is absolutely beautiful. It's astounding, sets the mood for a great meal. As you can see, four plates deep, just getting started. Crab legs, ribs, mussels, all that. Uh, scallops, peel and eat shrimp. Uh, we've already tried with the hush puppies. I already got a beer in me. Let's get it in. Hi. 
we're going in. Barbecue ribs. Pretty good. It's really good. It's really, really good. I'm trying to pace myself. So, fried oysters. I mean, stuffed fried. mushroom. Stuffed mushroom. Mm hmm. They pretty good. Very heavy. Very buttery. But good. Muscle. It's really hard to do muscle bone. Not overcooked, still tender. Very little mushy. Great flavor though. Mm -hmm. um, clams. Very easy to break free. Mm. A little butter sauce. Mm. Mm -hmm. Gotta have one more of those. Clams are excellent. Clams are excellent. This is one of my all time favorites. I saw when I went up to the buffet, I saw the chef putting out this meat. And this meat, I'm a meat eater. And I saw him putting out this meat. It was shiny, it was glistening, it was steaming. Had a nice sauce, this roast beef. Mm. I had to try it. Mm. Good beefy flavor. Very good, light spices. Mm. Phenomenal. One of the other things I saw on the menu before coming down here, over 170 items was the Cajun crab legs. I've never heard of such a thing, but I have some here, of course. And I've been waiting for almost two years to try this. They're delicious. I want to say it's like Old Bay, but it's not It's not Old Bay. It's, I need to ask our waitress. It seems like it's a homemade Old Bay. I know you're jealous. Excellent. Re regular crab legs, which by the way are, again, all you can eat. Snow crab, and again, Cajun crab. Two different locations on the buffet. I had a bad one a minute ago. I want to be fair, so here we go. Break that knuckle out. Pop. Pop. Hey, is that local from around here? Yeah. What about the fair? Who? Cool. It's always nice to meet people that are interested oh, yeah. in what you yes, do. Sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. It tastes good. It ain't always been that way, though. It tastes good. That's the most important thing. Right, right. That's, that, that's right. But there again, if you can't get it out of the cell, you can't eat it. But I have a little trick I learned a long time ago as a child. Let me find a fork. Where's the fork at? I got one right here. Let me show you a trick I learned a long time ago. Take the fork, put it in here, tear right down the side of it. There you go. Opens right up. My man. Parts like the Red Sea. Boy, man. One tine down in there. Use it against itself on the back side of the shell. Boom. Open that right up. Take the meat out. If you're waiting on me, you're backing up. I got it. All right. We're just getting started. If for some reason my mouth is dry with salt, <laughs> could it be because I'm eating seafood? <laughs> peel and eat shrimp. It's peel and eat shrimp. But again, I think their house blend Old Bay slash seafood seasoning is on this as well. There's one thing I will say already that the atmosphere is lovely. The atmosphere is beautiful. Um, it's somewhere you can sit, spend a lot of time, and be comfortable. Excuse me, comfortable. But they do not waste any seasoning on their food. <laughs> they season it very well. And um, so far, so good. I'm a little disappointed in the crab shells, but it tastes amazing. I can't be mad at that. With the quantity they're pushing out, 
All right, let, let's try another. Let, let's try one more. <laughs> let's try one more. I, I'm gonna be fair. I'm gonna be fair. Okay, here we go. Get him, Bickle. Boom, little piece. So the little leg came out. The knuckle, not so much. Tendons out. Here we go. Shot of redemption. All right, that was a good snap. That was a good snap. Okay, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Ah, ah, ah. And there we go. So, is it a dud? Is it because it cooled off? I don't know. But I know one thing I haven't been doing correctly. You got to, yeah, there you go. Gotta have the butter. Gotta have the butter. Oh, it's moving right along. Fried calamari. For calamari, that's good. All right, so salmon. Is this salmon? Yeah. Um, mm. Yeah. Um, not a lot of seasoning, not overbearing. It's really good. Mm. Yeah, that's what you want when you eat salmon. You don't want bland. Who wants to eat bland food? So of course you can't eat anywhere in the south without fried chicken. And I gotta tell you, Benjamin's for all the food they have on their menu, on these buffets, this looks good. I saw this one across the way. So let's get into it. They changed them to good. Very good spice, not too greasy. Soft and crunchy. I got a thigh, I cheated. I'm a thigh man, contrary to popular belief. <laughs> Try to meet. You making it look good too, bro. Try to meet. Very juicy. Try a piece of that. Very, very juicy, very tender. Mm. I've had nothing oh my God. yet that I don't like. Mm. Nothing yet I don't like. That fried chicken is really good. I'm a fried chicken eating man, I know. I know my chicken. You heard it from the man himself. So oh, yes, sir. Never been a real big devil oh, crab fan. I remember as a kid watching my father and my mother eat devil crab. I just, I just, I've never been a fan. So, I'm not a lot of, I don't like a lot of bread and shit, but we're gonna give it a shot. That's good. What are you gonna like that, my friend? The fried part, yeah. Still not a Devil Crab fan. All right, so I had to break out the fork to stop eating like a caveman. Royal shrimp, again, you can't overcook royal shrimp. Fantastic. But the next thing up, something else that caught my eye. I am from North Carolina. The barbecue is what we do. Okay? The barbecue. I had to try it. Mm. Mm. Tender. A little bit of tang. A little bit of spice. A little bit of fat. Still got chew to it. Perfect barbecue. Man, you called out. This is slap your mama good. You yes, sir. Me? Yes, sir. That's good. Come try the barbecue. I know it's a seafood place. Try the barbecue. Trust me. Fried chicken and barbecue. Try it. Well, this when I was 16 in Carthage, there used to be a place called the Barbecue Shack. That's where I was born and raised. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. All right, so next up. Scallops. I had to take y'all off the table because it kept wiggling, wiggling. Uh, earthquake. <laughs> but anyway, scallops. There's one thing that's odd about the oysters here is they're, they're in the shell, of course, but they're in clusters. Where they were just, well, maybe that's a cost saving move. But they're in clusters. I'm going to show you right now. Here's the oysters. So, I, never think I personally that. like that because. That's how me and my brother used to do it in Atlantic Beach, North Carolina. We used to get the clusters, take it back, steam it, and then pop them open. You get little ones, big ones, medium-sized ones. It's really good. But, so the next thing I got here, 
I want to say it's flounder. I want to say it's flounder. Tastes very well. A little loose, not not exactly firm. It's very flaky, very tender. Six out of ten. Six out of ten. All right, so let's try these oysters. Real quick, real quick. Don't even need a knife. Look at here. Mm. Pops right open. Stuck to the top of the shell. It's an oyster. Let's try one more. Just, just feel the safe side. Don't even need a knife. Right, right up. Scrape it loose with the fork. It's interesting. Not bad. It's an oyster. One other thing they've got. Oh my God, I'm about to pop. Mm. Prime rib. And it is delicious. Mm. So delicious. So I'm going to quit talking. I've got a lot of food to smash, and we're going to dash. <laughs> Benjamin's, the original Benjamin's Calabash Seafood, all you can eat. Don't forget, they do have desserts as well. I'm not a dessert guy, but I will review a couple here in just a minute. Oh, my God. We got the meat sweats. So there is legitimately not one spot of air left in my entire body. I have pigged out on prime rib, mushrooms, oysters, scallops, fried chicken, crawfish. I can go on and on and on and on and on. But now, there's one and a couple beers. I'm not gonna lie, great ice cold Coronas. Even the sweet tea here is banging. But now it's time to do the dessert review and well, let's get it in. This is what I picked. This is banana pudding. This is Oreo cream cake and regular chocolate cream cake. And then of course a chocolate chip cookie to round it all out. So let's start with the Oreo cream cake. I've had my eye on this for a while. Mm. Interesting. Very interesting. Mm. Very good. Now for the chocolate cream cake. Very dense. Oh, falls apart in your mouth. Got kind of little sprinkles on it. The cream, it's, it's whipped cream, but it's thick. It's not real fluffy. Oh my God, the cake just disintegrates in your mouth. I'm not a real big fan of sweets, but uh, if I taste that this center. has lived up to the expectations. It has lived up to the expectations. And of course, we need the best looking chocolate chip cookies in the world, but you gotta try it because it's a chocolate chip cookie and I'm a chocolate chip cookie fiend, so. Stay away from the chocolate chip cookies. Last but not least, definitely last, because I am done. <laughs> you hear me? I am done. Like I am overcooked. Done. I don't know how else to say it. I can't even form my words right now. It's almost like a roll kill situation. But last but not least is the banana pudding. It's almost like an overkill. Leave all this here, do not touch it. It's disgusting. I'll eat it all for you. So you don't have to worry about it. Okay? Stay away from it. It's mine. I will dispose of it properly. That's a review. Benjamin's Calabash Seafood and Bar and Buffet, whatever you want to call it. Just call it great. Get your ass down here and eat it. I love y'all. It's Big Daddy Bickling. I'll see y'all in the next video. I gotta go let this belt out. <sighs> Lord have mercy. Oh, it's a video. <laughs> Hi. 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 Um, hey. um, we should give this Go speech. subscribe to my YouTube channel, Racing We Go. Go like up. Um, yeah. Go go like up. Hey, hey. Give them, what, what's your hat? Instagram. Oh, what's your All that. Give it Come to Come to Original Benjamin's. It's really amazing. At East Sickly. Well, you heard it. At Maddie Smart, 2T. At Racing hey, We Go. It's been a pleasure. Nice to meet y'all. Nice to meet you. That is a wrap on Original Benjamin's. Calabash Seafood Buffet, and oh my God, am I about to explode? 
Paul and myself have killed this buffet. <laughs> yes, sir. And I need to do something. I need a circumcision. Not, damn. <laughs> well, damn. <laughs> I need a C-section. <laughs> <laughs> I'm crowning. Yay! Oh my God! Sorry, you two. Sorry, not sorry. We gotta go.